Alright guys, um, I'm with my PXN V9 and um, as you know this is one of the cheapest um, racing wheel out there. So I'm going to show you how to make this work in Forza Horizon 9 Steam version. Uh, but basically I'm going to, this is just going to be a quick one. So first of all, make sure you downloaded the driver from the website pxnv9 so you'll be able to see it in the bottom part of the page it's gonna say windows uh, I mean support v9 driver so you just unzip and install just the usual once that's done uh, that's the time you plug in the controller and I'm just gonna show to you that um, what's the default when you plug in the controller so right now I just unplugged it you'll see that uh, it's not recognized right now since of course it's unplugged. Uh, once I plug it in, once... okay, it's okay. okay, and there, it's recognized, but it's like an Xbox controller. That's the problem. This is where the problem is. So it has two modes. It has an Xbox controller mode. It also has a mode for um, just the normal racing wheel. So we're gonna switch that by just pressing and holding down the but this mode button. But uh, just you'll see this flash. And there, it's done. Now. To make sure that it's on the factory default settings, just hold down the frog button and it's gonna blink. And just press the mode and make it stop. Once that's done, if you go back here, game controller settings this time, it's now just gonna show up your 10 9 What you need to do is to just double check everything is working fine here. Um, you don't need to calibrate or everything, uh, anything, but pretty much just make sure everything is correct here. Uh, calibrate if it's not working properly, but by default it should be all good. So that's the first step. The next step, of course, is in Forza Horizon 5, which this is notorious if you Google YouTube and whatsoever that it's hard to uh, make it work. Forza Horizon 5 with the PXN V9. However, I'm going to show you that it's pretty much really easy and um, you don't need to like uh, do a lot of steps aside from just installing the driver, making sure that your and V9 is working fine, the buttons, everything. So let's just wait for this a bit. Okay, so launch menu. If it's your first time logging in, it's gonna ask for a Microsoft account to link it in. Uh, just make sure you have it linked. And then start game. This is the tricky part. If you go under settings, and then controls, change input mapping, you'll see that the wheel is recognized. However, there's no freaking way that you could have it um, map you can't map it like unlike here uh, you just press something and it's gonna let you map right so the easy way to make it work is just when you go to wheel you, you click on layout and then you just press this left arrow you saw that it changed so for some reason the layout is not showing anything but yeah uh, maybe it's just a bug or something but or Forza Horizon team forgot uh, honestly I'm quite disappointed that no one figured it out I mean there were a people uh, for a crack version of Forza Horizon 5 there was a part that uh, I found in YouTube that you press and hold the mode button and then it's gonna switch you, you have a, a few more steps to do but here um, I mean, I really just figured it out on my own when I just 
when this was blank that's it I mean I panicked and when I, I was watching the videos about this known issue it's really a headache however when I accidentally press the left arrow or the arrow keys here um, while this is on wheel mode then that's it so you can see that you'll be able to map the keys now so pretty sure there's a lot of people um, they bought it on Xbox they bought it on, on YouTube I'm sorry on Xbox or they bought it in um, what I call this uh, Steam so either way this will work I just tried it on my Xbox uh, Game Pass PC so yeah so that's it uh, and yeah I'm just gonna prove to you that it's working fine just real quick and just I'm just gonna change everything here oh shoot I forgot I already want that there okay and activate uh, that's not needed, that's not needed, that's not needed, horn, uh, reverse gear, so the reverse gear, here's another thing I found in YouTube, thanks to that guy I found, um, he's the only one that you're gonna be able to sense to explain it, but you press and hold down this shift, uh, shifting gears, once you press and hold it down, uh, you go to the six gear, and that's gonna make it uh, let me just repeat that so you can see it's counting press and hold it down go to six gear and it's mapped to button three uh, I'm just gonna show you first gear second gear third gear fifth gear whoops I made a rule fifth gear and the sixth gear is 22 so 23 is absolutely the same sixth um gear supposed to be but you press hold down uh the shift the shift gear and um it's actually gonna make work so just gonna make it seven eight nine then and save that's it so as I promised, this is just a short one. Um, I hope that you guys would be able to finally get into the world of Forza Horizon 5 with the cheapest PXN V9. Um, shout out to you guys, PXN V9. And I hope you continue providing us um, new gamers for driving wheels <laughs> that are cheap, of course. So uh, thank you also for that guy who shared some tricks about... Um, Forza Horizon Pack version that he said uh, actually it works uh, I, I tested it on, on another PC that I have my uh, my Forza Horizon 5 and it works there uh, but this step I did it works on Xbox Game Pass um, or Microsoft Xbox Store and in Steam as you can see which it's kind of impossible I even posted in the discussions and no one answered pretty much because like I'm not sure if the develop developers are known uh, knows about this problem or they're just ignoring it or whatsoever with a few people using this gear because of course Logitech G29 and the known competitors out there are much better but yeah I mean now we'll be able to play on Forza Horizon 5 um, thank you very much for your time uh, you don't need to subscribe if you don't want to I'm just mostly streaming and just sharing some quick uh, tips if in any case that um, I encountered a huge problem like this kind of hurdle so thank you and goodbye